Hello and welcome back. Yes, it's me and I thought it's quite a while since we've done a personal video. So here's an update on how things are going. My name's Ian Wills and welcome to the In Crowd. Well, I hope you are all looking good and feeling fine and you're managing to stay healthy in this pandemic that is sweeping across the world. I hope you all are obeying the social distancing rules and looking after yourself. And talking about looking after yourself, I have decided to try some new things. Now, don't worry, this is not going to turn into yoga within wills or bench pressing a lot of heavy weights. No, no, this is a lot more mellow and gentle than that. So you might be aware that I suffer from something called facial neuralgia. Now, I often talk about my face and say my face is hurt or you know, and basically what it is, is that your trigeminal nerve comes down the side of your face here and my nerve likes to fire off at random times. Um, I can probably only equate it to almost like feeling a, a, somebody's giving you electrical shock. Um, down the side of your face. It ranges from really a lot of pain down to tingling and pins and needles, none of which are pleasant. However, I just have to say at the beginning of this video that it is not sponsored by anyone what I'm about to tell you and show you. And um, I have been to a consultant for several visits. I've had medical tests, MRI scan, and I am fine apart from this um, new, neurological pain. Okay, and it's classed as a chronic pain and uh, mine is atypical facial neuralgia. Trust me, I can't do anything that is typical. Um, and basically the last um, visit that I had with the consultant, the, he said, oh, you, you'll probably have this for the rest of your life. And we just need to cope with it. So I am on medication to try to um, calm it down all the time, but at times it fires up. And a couple of weeks back, I had a really bad situation with it. I couldn't stream, I couldn't make videos. And when it's really bad, I actually just feel like crawling into a corner and hibernating for the rest of the year. Anyway, I decided to make a stand and I decided to start looking at other methods of pain relief and trying to keep myself calm and unstressed and try to cope with the pain. So I just have to reiterate now that everything is fine with me. I, you know, I've sought medical attention um, before this and I started to look at different ways of coping with the chronic pain. And one of the first thing I, I did was that, of course, like we always do, which you should never do, is that I decided to search the internet and regretted that straight away and decided to therefore search um, Amazon and try to see some, find some book about self-help and chronic pain. And I did, I found one and an app and everything. Here it is, the tapping solution. They're not sponsoring me at all. I started um, reading this in audio book to start off with. And basically what it is, is that it is something that taps into acupuncture points. I'm not sticking myself with needles before you get worried. Um, acupuncture points and almost like changing your mindset about things. And you know, you will know that I'm, uh, an anxiety sufferer or I suffer from anxiety and when I was at a clinical psychologist there there was a lot of this sort of like not meditation but trying to reset the mind in a different view a different way of thinking and the tapping solution does that as well it was really interesting that at the beginning of the course I have a pain journal no you're not seeing it uh, you know you don't want to and it's really interesting I've really thrown myself into it because I don't think you can do these things part-time you know you really need to have a go at it and it's really interesting um it's it's working i think i try to do it once every two days and it also like takes 10 minutes and you have to pat 
tap on certain parts of your body like this and say things out loud and yeah I've got an app for it and if it's my my pain has subsided um I'm not saying that it's totally because of that but I do feel that I'm in a different mindset now and I'm also using it to try to um calm my anxiety down and also my stress levels and things like that and talking about stress levels I'm doing something else to try to calm me down and it, the secret is in this little bottle yeah essential oils so um a while back when i first got the pain uh, i tried making up some uh, aromatherapy essential oils in coconut oil and rubbing it on my face and it does help it really does help plus it smells nice and it's not perfume type i think i have to put some like frankincense and peppermint or something like that but it, it does help i feel and I think it also sort of like calms me. And I think when I'm in a lot of pain, the, the thing that I really need is is calming down because I tend to induce panic attacks because I'm in so much pain. But anyway, touch wood, it's, it seems to be working. And I bought a demister or diffuser or something. It sits in the corner of my room and I can tell it to go on and then it fills up with pour water and I put the essential oils on it and it sort of like puffs it out which is it's really nice and pleasant and it changes colour and to just top it all I can control it with my Alexa which is absolutely fantastic. And one other thing that I'm trying, it won't be a long video don't worry, the other thing that I'm trying is mm, uh, do you know when I was I'm a streamer as you know and I actually wondered whether or not Nescafe would actually sponsor me but anyway I'm trying to reduce the amount of caffeine I take in um I have noticed that when I get and it was a member of my family that brought it to my attention and I just suddenly thought yeah some days when I drink a lot of caffeine I can feel my face setting off so I'm trying to reduce that now I have I can't throw out food I find it really difficult to throw out food so what I'm doing is that I'm trying to wind down my caffeine and sort of like instead of having eight cups of coffee no I know I know yes eight cups I'm trying to cut it down I'm putting some tea in between now and yes I know tea still has caffeine in but not as much as the coffee I've got some decaffeinated tea once I've finished my coffee I'll go on to decaffeinated coffee and slowly come off it I have come off caffeine once before and wow my head hurt um there is an uh, an unfortunate side effect because I actually love Pepsi Max and I'm going to have to come off that but I found a new drink I think it's called 7-Up um, but it's the version I found is free of sugar because I don't like um, sugar in my drinks or things like that free of sugar and free of caffeine so wish me luck so yeah rather than sitting back and worrying or complaining or saying why does it always happen to me I've decided to be proactive and I thought I would just share with you how uh, it's going along and what I'm doing touch wood at the moment everything is going fine and I feel a little bit healthier I, I must admit so maybe it is doing some good which would be absolutely fantastic um, hopefully we'll see some um, positive changes I'm still on my medication given to me by the doctor um, on a regular prescription so I still have that but yeah self-help and you never know the next time you see me I might be doing yoga poses until then please look after yourselves don't forget to like comment and subscribe to this video and channel in doing so you are helping me make my creative content dream come true and if you would like to provide a little extra help then i am one patreon away from 10 so the links down below and even if you just give a dollar a month that would be absolutely fantastic i want to get to 10 and stay at 10 anyway uh, until next time please look after yourself and please remember to be who you are and say what you think because the people who mind don't matter and the people who matter don't mind have fun everyone catch me across the internet and i will see you next time i'm off to go and unroll my yoga mat see ya bye